things here. Make sure y'all okay that we're going to go live to see. Give me a second. Okay. All right, let's go ahead and get this live. Let's get there. Okay, awesome. And if anybody who's next to the computer, if they could help me admit people as people come in, I would greatly appreciate that. Anybody that's close by, they could admit somebody for me. Anybody can assist. I can help, Sean. I can help. Thank you, Alicia. Thank you, co-host. All right, fantastic, fantastic. All right, Lindsay, I'll make you co-host too. I appreciate that, sis. Thank ya. Let's make sure we on our Facebook doing our thing. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Okay, guys, well, look, thank you, thank you, thank you for being on tonight. This is our team Wealth Builders live trading fundamentals call here is where we get to you know really give you an inside look as far as what we do as a team as a family as far as trading is concerned and so it's great to have all of you on we are streaming live on facebook so that's awesome this is also going to be on youtube so this is going to be awesome so i'm very 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 excited and so what I'm really excited about, guys, tonight that I'm going to share with you is inside the I Am Mastery Academy is a tool, okay, and a strategy that's called Colors, okay? It's called Colors. And I definitely want to give credit where credit is due. Uh, the inventor or the brainchild behind color strategy is uh, Dr. Raphael Spiller. Dr. Raphael Spiller, big shout outs to him out of Texas. Um, he made a phenomenal, phenomenal tool. So I want to be able to introduce that to you guys tonight. And please understand that this is, number one, is included in the I Am Mastery Academy, okay? But it is also an add-on to your current package. I believe it's a $49, $50 add-on on top of your uh, package that you have. And obviously, if you're seeing us on Facebook, please reach out to me or whoever live stream that you're on so you could get, get this information. And so that you can get trading. So guys, the reason I really wanted to share this strategy with you guys tonight is let's let me, let me just be 100,000% real that there's some of us who are in the I am master Academy who are not trading. Okay. Who are not trading. Okay. And the reason that we may not be trading is because we have a lot of information. We have a lot of tools and other things like that. And so hold on one second. Hold on, hold on, hold on. No. All right, guys, sorry about that. Okay, y'all came running in and stuff, got to kick them back out. So, yeah, so the reason that we want to go ahead and share the color strategy is because, again, a lot of people may be intimidated because of all the uh, un you know, inundated information that we have, because we do have a plethora of information with I Am Master Academy. So in case you're new, in case you're a guest, first of all, we welcome you on. Thank you so much. But we also want to let you know that I Am Master Academy is the premier school, I have to say, in the world, the number one school in the world to teach you how to trade the financial markets. Doesn't matter if it's foreign exchange market, crypto currency market, the stock market, indices, gold, silver, it doesn't matter. All of these strategies and tools apply to all of these financial assets, 
Okay. And so we also want to talk about, you know, creating an income from home that you can be able to trade on your cell phone or your computer. Okay. And so the reason that, again, to go back to what I was talking about, why people may be intimidated is because there is a lot of great information. We probably have over 20 different tools that you can access through the academy to be able to assist you to trade. But the great thing is, is once you learn it within 24 to 48 hours of you learning the strategy, you can start having results trading. Okay. And so a lot of people will ask, well, Sean, how much time do I really need to learn how to trade? So let me be real candid with you. You know, it is going to, it's a skill. So you are going to have to dedicate some time to studying it. And so we tell people, you know, if you can dedicate 15 to 30 minutes a day, then you can really learn this skill. But I will say, if you can dedicate the next uh, six to 12 months to learning a skill that could change your life, then it's really, really, really uh, you know, beneficial to do that. And because of me learning the skill set, guys, I have not had a corporate job or a job period in over four and a half years. So I've been able to make my income from trading. Okay. And so that's what I want to share with you. So here's the thing about colors. I'm going to give a preface to it. And again, big shout out to uh, Dr. Raphael Spiller for coming up with this because he had the idea that it can be intimidating to trade. OK, because you're learning about pips, you're learning about, uh, you know, support, resistance, trend lines, you learn about Fibonacci, all these other terms that may sound over your head. OK, and what Doc Spiller decided to do was, hey, if I could make this, you know, on the concept of a video game of a video game, not only are you excited about it, but it's very, very easy. And all you really have to do is match up the colors. That's all you got to do. You just got to match up the colors. If you, you can match up red color or green colors, then you can begin to have results in trading, okay? And so that's what I want to go over tonight is how simple the, the, the strategy is. And for those of you who are on Facebook or maybe you, you're with another company or maybe in education or maybe you're online or maybe you went to YouTube University to learn and you're like, hey, look, I, I've been learning this stuff, but it still seems a little you know, over my head then I really seriously want you to consider not only joining our trading family so that we can collectively help one another, but also so that you can learn this very easy strategy of matching up colors. Because I promise you guys, um, teenagers are learning how to do this. I mean, my 11-year-old knows how to trade, and right now my 22-year-old is learning how to trade, okay? And they're learning to trade because this is a great option to getting a job. OK, it's a great option to getting a job. So I'm going to go ahead and bring up colors. We're going to go ahead and go through step by step. And so what I'd like you to do, if you are taking notes um, and guys, the, my, my moderators, if you can, I have people that's coming in the room. So please, if you can, you know, see them on top and admit them, I would greatly appreciate that. And so I'm going to bring up the strategy and I'm going to if you're taking notes, I want you to go step by step. I'm going to make it very, very slow. I'm going to slow it down. And then not only we're going to do that, uh, slowing it down and take the notes, but we're also going to show you what are some good trades. And then you're going to see like, wow, it's really that easy. Yes, it really can be that easy. OK, so let's go ahead and take a look at the colors. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's jump into this. All right. Awesome. 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 All right. I'm going to close my camera up so I won't be able to see you guys but you can see me so that's awesome so let's go from here so this right here is the uh, tool that is inside the I am master academy it's called colors and you can access this uh, at color.im okay and obviously you need to use your I am master academy username and password okay um, to go ahead and, and use this tool and obviously like I said it is an add-on to your package. It's about a $50 add-on to your package. But guys, this is all I trade now. And I have to admit that um, because I've been trading for a while, uh, I kind of got used to the rigmarole of just looking at support resistance and trend lines and doing different strategies, which is great. But this is so fun. And that was the part I didn't anticipate, that it's fun to trade because, again, it's kind of like a video game. All right. And so there's there's really I'm going to go over it real quick of what you're looking at. And then we're going to break it down in very, very simple steps. OK, so we're going to start over here from left to right. right. And so obviously what we're going to do we have some drawing tools. Everybody, please make sure you mute your line. Thank you very much. So we're going to start from left to right. So over here on the side, we have some drawing tools so that you're able to draw on here as a reference point. I'm going to show you that we are going to make some markings on here, okay? Over here is the time, 
Okay, which means where do we get our information from? It's kind of like if I sat there and you were looking at a TV guide on your TV, you're going to look at, okay, what movies are an hour long? Maybe it's only 30 minutes long. Maybe it's a two hour movie. Have y'all ever done that? Maybe you went on Netflix or maybe you went on Hulu or something, uh, or maybe on YouTube. I'm big for doing that. On YouTube, I would look at videos and then I would see how long it is. If it's 10 minutes or less, I'm probably going to watch it really quick. But if it's about an hour, 45 minutes, that's something I'm probably going to say later on. And why is that? Because it's a lot of information. And so what I'm trying to learn, probably I would need an hour to learn it. But then if I only have a short amount of time, I can take information on a smaller time frame. Maybe, uh, you know, you know, I want to learn how to, you know, replace a light bulb or something, you know, special light bulb. And so I'll watch a short seven minute video because that's the only information I need. So that's what these time frames here are for. It's not that it takes four hours for a trade to happen. It means that I need four hours of information to help me make a decision. And of course, is predicated in very smaller time frames. So we start off on a four hour here as we analyze our chart, but you have two hour time frames, one hour, you can break it down to 30 minutes, 15 minutes, five minutes, three minutes, and even a minute. And so the question that most people have is, well, Sean, why does it have these different time frames on there? It's because it caters to the different type of trader that you are. Some people don't have the patience to want to be in a trade for, you know, 45 minutes, an hour, two hours, five hours, or a day. Some people say, Sean, I just want to be able to make my money in a minute. I want to make it in three or to five minutes. I want to make it in 10 minutes. And so that's what these time frames allow you to do when you're trading for an exchange or cryptocurrency, gold, silver, or whatever. You can break down the time frame that fits your style of trading. Okay. And so that's the, the part there. All right. In the middle tells us the currency pair. Because what we're doing is we're comparing one currency to another. There's going to be a weak currency like the U.S. dollar compared to a stronger currency. And that's what we want, ladies and gentlemen. We want to be able to have a currency that's weak and strong because what it does is it's going to go into a certain direction. And how we make money trading is whether it goes in an up direction or a down direction. OK, don't confuse us with stock trading, because in stock trading, obviously, we know that you you buy it low, it goes up in value. We make money and that's one directional. That's linear in one direction. But in foreign exchange, because we have two items that we're trading, now we compare one being weak and one being strong. And at different times in the market, it's going to get weak and strong. And because of that, it's like a, uh, um, a seesaw. OK, and as long as you can determine where the seesaw is going, you're going to make money, okay? If you can determine which way the seesaw, is the seesaw pointing upwards on this side or is it pointing down on this side and up on the other side? And that's how we make money in the market. The great thing is it normally takes people a good couple, you know, three, four, five years to really practice and understand which way the seesaw is going. But why I Am Master Academy is so good and why over 400,000 students in over 120 countries plug into this education is because we have software that tells you where the seesaw is going. So if you have a, a, a tool that can tell you in advance which way the seesaw is going, now you just have to learn the tool so that now you can make money. And the great thing about colors that Doc Spills had made is that not only does it tell us which way the seesaw is going, but it's going to tell you when to get in. It's going to tell you when to get out. It's going to tell you where to place your stop loss or your safety parameters so in case it goes the wrong way, it's going to take you out of the trade so you don't lose a lot of money. So I'm, I'm making a point of that because most people are saying, well, isn't it risky? Yes, anything that you put money into can be risky. But the whole thing is once you get the proper education, we can minimize the risk. And the whole thing of having a tool, having a support and having a mentor and, and a, a a teacher to teach you the right way, it minimizes your risk so that you're losing very, very little money, okay? And again, let me put this disclaimer, I am not a, a, a uh, I am not a uh, financial advisor. I'm not here to tell you what to trade. I'm not a consultant of any sort. I am merely a, a customer who knows how to use a certain tool that our education has taught me. And I'm introducing the concept, the idea to you, okay? And once I introduce the concept, now you can make an informed decision to say, hey, this is easy enough that I can learn. 
There always is going to be risk involved. But again, our emphasis is to minimize the risk. OK, so that's how that is. So this tells you the pair that's in the middle. We're trading the AUD, the Australian dollar against the United States dollar. OK, so let's come over here to the right hand side. Again, these are the different time frames that caters to the different type of trader that you are. OK, the higher the time frame, which um, we'll break this down. The M1 stands for one minute. So this is one minute of information. It doesn't take a minute for the trade. It means that you're getting one minute of information, 60 seconds of information to make a, a decision because most of these people are only in and out for three or four pips, okay? They're, they're in and they're out very quickly. M5 is for five minutes, M15 is for 15 minutes, M30 is for 30 minutes, H1 is for one hour of information, H4 is for four hours, and D1 is for a day of information. So literally, guys, you know, we'll, let's talk about the, tire, the higher time frame, the H1, H4, and D1. These are for people that literally can put a trade in if you're working, if you're working a nine to five, or you're working a 12 hour shift, or you're working an overnight shift. You, you literally using an H1, H4, or D1 could put a trade in at eight o'clock in the morning and you can make a profit during the time you're at work and not have to look at it until you get off of work later on. See, that's the great thing. So people, the, the, this dispels the, the myth that you have to stare at your chart all day long. No, you don't have to do that. You, it literally takes you less than 30 seconds to put in a trade. And then once you put in the parameters, you walk away. You don't have to do anything, guys, because the market is going to do what the market's going to do. But because you have a, a, a trustworthy tool, you at least the probability of success is much higher. The probability of success is much higher. OK, and so that's why it's important that you learn these tools. OK, and then if you have an H4, you literally could put a trade in on a Monday and not look at it until Tuesday or Wednesday. See, that's the great thing, too. So let's just say you do work uh, three on, four off, four on, three off, you know, five on, two off. You know what I'm saying? You can literally put a trade in on one day and not look, look at it until the next day or two okay and then when you have a d1 okay which is a day of information there's literally people ladies and gentlemen that can put in a trade on the first of the month and they don't have to look at until the 15th of the month okay or put it at the first of the month and not look until the 30th of the month and so they're making big moves in the market and so by making bigger moves not only do you save your time and you're more efficient at certain times, but you're able to make larger profits sometimes because you're covering a larger amount of space in the market. You're covering a larger amount of space in the market. So there's some people who will put in a trade on the first and they're looking to make 500 pips, okay? Or a thousand pips or 2000 pips. Now, what is a pip? That's merely something we could put a dollar value to. So just for the sake of demonstration, education purposes only, if we were going a dollar per pip and you put in a trade at uh, the beginning of the month and then you're looking at the end of the month and you're doing a 3000 pip move, that potentially could be an extra $3,000 and all you did was put in the trade on the first and didn't look at it until the end of the month. There are definitely traders that do that on a regular basis, okay? All right, so now let's go ahead and break this down. Basically over here on the uh, right-hand side, they're gonna show the different pairs that you can go ahead and look up, okay? These are the different pairs. And underneath it, it's, it's a strength meter, okay? If it's green, that means in that particular time frame, in that particular time frame, it's moving in a certain direction. If it's green, okay, we got the five minute, 15 minute, we probably got the hour and the four hour. OK, and so at these particular time periods, it's moving in a certain direction. OK, and so they, they they're handy enough or they're friendly enough to give us uh, the information up front to tell us, OK, on what time frame it's moving. OK, and then next to it, it's going to have what we call a strength meter. Because Remember what I said in in trading foreign exchange or cryptocurrency, we're wanting one to be strong and the other to be weak. And so what you want is a good separation of these numbers. And so basically, if it's strong, you want something that is 60 or above, 60 or above, 60 or above. And if you are looking for something weak, you would prefer to have that at 30 or under, 30 or under. So if we can find something that's 60 or above or 30 or under, that primarily is a good trade to possibly look at, to possibly look at, okay? All right. So let's take a glance. Um, I got one here, AUD, USD. 
That's just an example. But what I want to do now is I'm going to just look at the actual strategy of how to use colors, the actual strategy of how to use colors. OK. All right. So this is where you want to write this down. OK. And if you're watching on Facebook, I really want you to take some notes uh, because you're going to see how easy this really is. OK. It's really going to be some simple steps right here. OK. All right. So we're going to have what we call a trigger. OK. So a trigger is like get ready, get set, go get ready, get set, go. So think of yourself, for those of you who've done track or you've seen somebody, or maybe your kid, your son or daughter does track, there's something that they do. They come to the line, right? And you see them, they say, get ready. So they're kneeled down on their back feet, right? Get ready. Then they get set. And what do you see? You see their butt go up in the air because they're ready to go, right? And then go. And then you, you're off. You're off to the races, okay? So this strategy is built on something like that. Just like in a video game, you're going to look at the get ready. We're going to look at the get set, and then you'll know when to go. All right. So here's the get ready part. All right. So there's three things that you need to see before you get ready to get into a trade. There's three things that you need to look for to, before you get ready to get in a trade. So the first thing we're going to look at, and I want you to look at my screen, is we need a box. Okay, you're going to see a box show up. All right, so right here is the red box. Okay, red box. You need a box. Okay, that's the first thing. So everybody write down box. Number one, you need a box. Okay, the second thing you need is you need this arrow right here, this red arrow pointing down. You need an arrow, and that's called a swing arrow. Swing arrow right here. Swing arrow. You need a box, you need a swing arrow. And the number three thing that you need is this. It's called the EC, okay? It's called an engulfing candle, engulfing candle. But just call it EC. That's all right. We, we're making this really, really simple. So just those of you who are following, to get ready to look at getting into a trade, we need three things. We need a box. We need a swing arrow. This arrow that looks like that, just this arrow. And then we need an EC. We need an engulfing candle, EC. Box, swing arrow, engulfing candle. Now, these are the rules that's going to help you have a more successful trade. If you don't see these three things, you don't get into the trade. If you don't see these three things, you don't get in the trade. Okay? But Sean, I see an arrow, I see an EC, but I don't see a box. Should we get into the trade? No, but Sean, I see a box. I see an arrow. I don't see an EC. Should I get into the trade? No, don't get into the trade, okay? This is your get ready, all right? So let me add some other little pieces to it. We're looking at each of these currencies on a four-hour time frame, an H4. Remember, it's about information. We need a lot of information because the, the more information we have, the more stabler of the decision we can make. The more information we have, the more stabler the decision you can make. So if your child comes to you and say, mom, dad, I want to go to the party. Okay. So you're trying to decide whether you should let them go or not. So you need more information, right? The more information, the more stable the decision you can make. Okay, who are you going to the party with? Where's the party? Who's going to be at the party? Is there alcohol or weed at the party? Okay, what time are you getting back? Okay, so the more information you got, the more you can maybe say yeah or no. Okay, instead of, okay, what time are you going to be back? Oh, I'll be back at one o'clock. Okay, you can go. You don't have much information. Okay, so the reason that we're on the H4 is because you have more stable information. Okay. All right. Now, the second thing is, I'm going to add this in, is that up here, it tells you, it's going to say verified, if you can see it right here, okay, it says verified, and then it says retest, okay? Now, I'm going to break it down real soon. What is the box for? The box is our ceiling. It's, it's the, the software detects where there's a very strong ceiling, which means, hey, we detected that price or the candles, these are candles, are not going to go through this ceiling, 
okay? That has touched it a couple times and it says there's a pretty strong ceiling, okay? That's what a box does, okay? Or if you see a box on the bottom, you'll see a green one. I'll show you that. It'll also say you have a strong floor, which means you have a really strong floor. These are good things because what happens is it's going to bounce. It's going to bounce off the ceiling and come back. That's what you want because it's a really strong ceiling. Or it may bounce off the floor and come up. That means you have a really strong floor. So that's good. So there's two classifications right here. There's verified and there's proven, okay? Now, it's, it may say verified, which means it at least has touched this area pretty strong. And it tells you how many times it touched the area one time. It's retested it one time. Now, does that mean it's super strong? No, it's not real, real strong, but it, it is strong enough. But sometimes you'll see this three, four, or whatever. When you see the word proven, you know that's a pretty concrete ceiling or floor. Both of them are good, but you want to see either one of these, verified or proven, verified or proven. Remember, we're still at the get ready part. We're not jumping in yet. We're still just preparing. Remember, just like the track runner, we're at get ready. We're still down on our back, back leg. We still got our hands ready, but we're not ready to get up on get set yet. We're just getting ready. So for those of you who just jumped on, again, this is color strategy. And again, we're showing how simple it is to use colors. All you have to do is match the colors. But there's first three things you have to look for. Number one, you have to look for the box. We got a box, okay? That's what you see, a shaded box. The second is you want to see this arrow. We got the arrow. And the third thing you must see is this EC, embellishing candle, okay? Engulfing candle, same thing. You got to see those three things. You don't see those three things, you don't even look at the trick. All right? And we're on the four-hour chart. That's where we start. And then we're going to check if it's verified or proven. Okay? Verified or proven. All right. All right. So now, now we're going to get to the get ready part. Okay, Sean, when do we get in? When do we get in? All right. So now that I see all three of these things, I'm just looking for this arrow right here. This is my trend arrow right here. Okay, this is, this is telling me what direction is this trade going, okay? It already hit this, this box, which is cool. It's coming out the box. Now it's going to tell us, okay, it's pretty strong. It's going this way. It's going down. I want to keep it simple. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here to my drawing tool, and I'm going to get a vertical line. And I'm going to put my vertical line right where this arrow is. Let's make it nice and bright. Let's make sure everybody can see. All right. So right here, right here is the green line. I hope everybody can see. We're, we're posting a green line. Okay. Because now we're going to get set. Okay. So what we do after we draw this green line, you're going to put it on the arrow. Okay. Now, let me add this little part because this is what kind of confused me too. Let's say the you'll see this arrow. And you see an EC, but the EC is way over here somewhere. And then you see the arrow. It's still good. It's still good. Or maybe I see, you know, the, let's see, the EC down here. I see the arrow here. And then afterward, I see this arrow. It's still good. It's still good. Okay? That's what I had to get straight. So now, once we wrote this line here to mark this part, we're going to drop down. And how we drop down time frames is we come over here to this little 4H that you see over to the left-hand side. You don't go over here to the right side. You want to keep that on H4. You want to come back over here to the left side. You want to select it. And we want to drop down to this 30 minutes because I don't need all this information anymore. I need to drop down. I already got the information I need from that time frame, okay? Come on now, don't freeze. There we go. Let's go. Let's go. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Here we go. We're on the 30-minute time frame, but you're like, where's the green line? Okay, so what I want to do is I want to shrink my screen. Aha, here's the green line. Okay, here it is. Let's, let's pull it down. Where is it? Oops, where you at? 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 Ah, okay. It made another box, but we're going to stick with that. Okay. So I'm following my green line, okay? On the 30 minute, it shows another 
box that was made. So now we're going to say, okay, Sean, when do we get in? When do we get in? Now we're at the get ready part. The get set was the three things we call, we, we saw the box, the EC, and the swing arrow. We saw all that. We saw this verified, okay, and retested. That's great. We made our green line. This is what we saw in the four hour. Now, all we have to do, ladies and gentlemen, is we have to enter right where this arrow is. We can enter at this arrow. Oh, let me, let me make that, let me get that back. Okay, let me circle it. I've been practicing on my drawing, y'all. I've been practicing. I've been practicing. So we can get in on this arrow. Let's make that, let's see what we make that. Okay. We can get in on this arrow. We can get in on this arrow. Okay. We get on the candle there. So now here's what happens. Ooh, hold on. I want to show the bottom part. It's not showing. Let me see if I can refresh this a little bit. Oh, guys, let me hit that refresh. Hopefully it won't get rid of my, my markings. Because I need you to see the bottom part, how it lines up. Because this is this is... This is where the magic happens. Okay. What was I on? I think it was all USD. Let me see. Okay. I think I was on all JPY is what I think. I think. Does anybody remember? Let me see. Odd. Was it all K, Sean? What was it? I thought odd K, I'm not sure. No, you know what, it's odd USD, because I remember saying USD in it. I remember, but thank you, thank you, let's get it. Yep, odd USD, let's get it. It may make me rewrite it, let's see. Okay, let's redo it real quick. All right, let's get it for our eye there, that's where it is, okay. It's gonna four hour here. Sorry guys, when Zoom kind of interacts with the software. There we go, there we go, there we go, there we go. And I hit it early. Okay, cool, 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 cool. All right, let's start over again. Let me make my line. We got the box, we got the EC, we got our swing arrow and I have that. I'm gonna go ahead, write my line. Let's get it going. Vertical line right here on this arrow. Cool. That's what I want. Let's thicken it up. All right. Let's drop down to the 30 minute. Boom. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Cool. All right. I need you to see the bottom part. Let me move over here. All right. Cool. This is what exactly what I want you to see. Okay. Let's tighten it up just a tad. All right, cool. So now I wrote my green line here. We get in on this arrow, but let me write another arrow. The colors are gonna match up and that lets you know you can get in this thing right here. Boom, we're gonna make this red. That's orange, red. I can get in there. Look when we follow it down. It's all red, it's all red, it's all red. We just match it up. We just match it up and look, you're going to come down and you're going to make these pips right here. If I got in here, look at this right here. And, and guess what? Where's our take profit? At these black lines that you see. These black lines that you see. Let me see. These black lines that you see. So if I were to take it from up here at the top and I came down here to this first red line, 40 pips. If I go to the second one, 50 pips. So if I was making $10 per pip, that could be potentially $500 move right there. Okay? Colors match up. Boom, that's all I do. I just jump in right here. Boom, red, 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 all the way down. Okay, let me circle that because we're going to circle all the places we can get in because you can take multiple positions if you like. You don't have to just get in one. Sticking it up. So yes, I could have got in here. All right. 
I could get in here. I could get in here, okay? Let's look at this one. Let's say I didn't catch that, that's fine. Cool, let's write a red line. Boom, look at that, red, 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 right there, okay. Let's see if this one matches up. I got red on the four hour. I got red here starting, even though it started to pull back. That's okay, because most likely it's, it's on a pullback and it's probably gonna come back down to this take profit, okay? And ladies and gentlemen, that's, that's it. That's it, that's, that's all there is to colors. That's all there is to colors. It tells you where the take profits are here. You go to these lines. And really, if I listen to uh, millionaire trader Alex, Alex, who does the, uh, the, the calls here, you're really trading from what we call end zone to end zone. So here it's, it's uh, red up here, but if there was a green box, you could actually take the trade all the way down to the green box. And once you see the three things that I talked about, the box, the EC and the swing arrow, you could take it back up to the red box and you could do that all day long, ladies and gentlemen, all day long. But that's the thing is you just go ahead and line up the colors once you get on here. And really, even when they said, let's say, let's take this for example, where it's green here, but it's red on the bottom. And then you see some green a little bit over here. It's okay because most likely this is a pullback. And what Coach talks about, I say coach, but what, what Phil talks about is sometimes you're looking for a combo, a red, green, red, or a green, red, green. You see what I'm saying? So here's a color combo. It goes from red here, red, and then guess what? It's going to come back down because we saw the color combo, all right? So these are just a few things on how easy colors is in regards to talking. Okay, I got my 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 sideline here i just saw your message lindsay you can definitely go ahead oh you, that was your message earlier so okay i thought you wanted to get on here on the mic and teach a little bit <laughs> coach lindsay okay so so far does anybody have questions on the color strategy because i really want to keep it very very simple because it really is that simple you don't have to have learned support resistance you don't really have to learn all that stuff it helps and it makes you a better trader but guess what you don't really have to do all of that Okay. Um, yeah. I mean, that's really it to the strategy, guys. And if I go back to the four hour, one thing that Doc Spills had talked about earlier today, let me switch back to the four hour, is he did talk about the trend line part. And that was really cool. Oh, let me extend it so you guys can see. For those of you who are trend traders, okay, you literally can take trend line and kind of start up here and kind of start heading down here. Let's put, thinking that up. As the market starts to move, you literally can can have a trend line. Now I broke the trend here, obviously, and it has an EC and all that, but we're also looking for a color combo to probably continue on downward. Um, so that's very, very possible. Maybe I need to move the trend line a little bit. Now nah, it's pretty good. Um, and then you can take it down. So that was one thing he talked about. This probably isn't a perfect example, but pretty much you match these colors up, it's gonna fall right in line to where you, you uh, are going to be in regards to that. So let me move that. All right, so cool. Does anybody have any questions thus far? Because again, I just want to move in pieces. I just want to make sure that you kind of understand. Um, and I'll look at another trade so we can kind of uh, look at it from a buy perspective also from the bottom going up. But does anybody have any questions at this time they want to ask in the chat or you can unmute and ask? Nope, did I do that good, y'all? Y'all have no questions? Okay, okay. Let's look at, uh, let me look at something. Let's see, 49 and 18. Okay, that looks pretty cool. Let's, let's see 
If that's on a bar, I'm on H4. I'm gonna come up here. If the system will let me. Okay. All right, so here's, let's see, do I have a box? I don't have a box there. Again, guys, I don't see a green box, so that's not something I'm going to take. All right, so let's look at something else. Let me see something that may have a green box to it. All right, so I got a green box here. This is an example of what we look at when we're going the opposite direction, okay? All right, so here's the thing. On a four-hour chart, we're looking at USD CHF. That's the, the currency pair, the US dollar against the Swiss franc, okay? And remember, I said there needs to be three, four, th well, three things in place before we decide to take the trade, okay? And so the first thing that we see here, we have what? A box, right? That's what we need. I need a box. I got a green box. Cool, cool, cool. That's what I need, all right? What's the second thing? I need a swing arrow, okay? Right here, that's the arrow, right there, right there. Let me, let me make sure you guys can see it because some of y'all might be half blind like me and I understand. So that's why I need to make sure. So we got a box. Got a box, right? Then the next thing is I need a swing arrow. I got it. It's right there. But can somebody unmute and tell me what is the third thing that I'm missing? In Gossin can candle. Say again. The EC, the engulfing candle. Oh my God, who said that? Because you are a genius. Who said that? Uh, this is Anita. Hey, Anita. Hi. Fantastic. <laughs> Yes, ma'am. We're missing the EC. We're missing the EC. Okay. So at that part, what you can do is you can wait. You can mark this down. You can wait because even though it's moving in this direction, an EC will pop up. It's probably going to pop up later on after this, and you could probably take that trade up. But again, we go from end zone to end zone. We're going from the top to the bottom. Okay. And so that's the case. But even so, let me drop down to the 30 minutes. Let's take a look, see if there's an EC down there. Everybody on color. That's why it's moving that way. Oop, let's take that away. Okay, let's erase that. Okay. Okay. So I have my box, I have my swing arrow but I don't see any C, okay? So now we still have, you know, arrows and stuff. But again, for me, I want to stick to the rules. I want to stick to the rules. Doesn't mean that from here, here, you couldn't have made that, okay? Because obviously it was green. It went up and did its thing. But the whole point of keeping it very simple is to follow the rules step by step. And if you repeat that over and over again, then your success rate is going to be very, very good. OK, is it perfect? Absolutely not. Are you going to win all your trades? Absolutely not. But I will tell you, it's going to be pretty hard not to win because it's very, very simple. And again, this is what I'm excited about because I don't have to do anything but master colors. I'm going to look for something else. And you can use this on anything. This is uh, the U.S. dollar, the dollar itself, the dollar itself, the dollar itself. Let's see. Same thing. We have a box. We actually have a swing arrow right here, but again, we're missing the EC, okay? So for me, probably not gonna take the trade, okay? I just wanna keep consistent. Let's see, look at the AUDs. Let's see what's going on in the AUDs. I got 84.52, I got 84.36. Now we're just on that one. Let's say AUD, NZD. I'm trying to see if we can find another good setup. Ooh, y'all. Let me see, not, 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 not too bad, not too bad, okay. So let's look at this one. I have a box, no, no, I don't have a box, whoops. Yeah, I do, I got a box, <laughs> I got a box. Now here's the thing, it's not in the box, okay? So a lot of this is gonna be kinda, kinda rolling consolidation there, but this is still uh, uh, another part here. So can we take this? 
I don't see it in a box, so I may not. Okay, I got the EC, I got my swing arrow, I don't have a box right here. I got a box down here, but it's not, it's not close to the box. So for me, I may not take that, okay? Even though that could be a potentially good trade, okay? Now, Doc Spiller may, he may or may not. We know a box could be here. Let's just shade it, okay? This is when you get a little bit more, you know, you could be a little bit more advanced with it. Let's see if I can get a shape. Can I get a shape? Uh, I need a, I know I had it. Let me see. No, I need to go there. Okay. So. All right. If a box was here. Okay. Shaded box right there, which it could be because it's at a, a strong, you know, good area right here. I could have a box, EC, go from there. And it probably will behave similar to the same way. Ah, I didn't put my, my arrow. Let me go back, put it, I mean, put my line, my vertical. Come on, come on. Let me go back, y'all. Let me, let me do this correctly. All right, all right. So here, I'll put my line over here, okay? Put my line over here. So I have an EC, I have that. Let's see if I drop down to 30, will it give me a potential place where I could enter? Could it line up? All right, Let's shrink it up just a tad. Where's my green line? There's my green line, okay. So cool, look, I got this right here. Could have entered here. I got some green there. I got an EC here, I got an arrow here. I could have entered here. See, it's still lined up green. So let's put some lines there. There, there, Oop. There you go. So see, we still look, still lines up. This one's right here on the on the on the edge right here, but it's still green as it comes down here. But look, it came up. You would have made some money right here. Okay. That could be about 27 pips for those of you who are using a growth chart. I mean, if you're shooting for 15, 20 pips, you use this with a growth chart. Look, maybe about 18 pips there. Look at this move right here. Green, it's all green, all lined up. And I got another swing arrow. It's got in here. What is that 50, about 50, 54, 55 pips right there. And look, you just, you got the arrows, that's it. The arrows tell you, hey, get in on that green candy. You can get in right after that arrow and boom. So I don't know about you, but I'm excited about it. I like it. I like it. I like it. I, I, it's, it's like I told you, it's just like I'm looking for colors. That's all I'm looking for. I'm just looking for boxes and colors. Boxes and colors. This one's way up here. And all these lines here, guys, are potential um, take profits here. Now, let me answer this. Where do you put your stop loss? That's a big question. Well, Sean, where do I put my stop loss? Where do I put my stop loss? What is a stop loss? It's something to help protect you from blowing your account. Okay, so in this instance, let me see. We have a box. We have an EC, where's my swing arrow? Ah, right here, okay. All right, so even though it's spaced out, or I can even start over here, okay? So we have uh, uh, an arrow, oh, let, me, let me circle, let me circle that, because I, I wanna make sure I'm, 
All right. So we got EC and arrow right there. All right. And we got a swing right there. Okay. Got a swing right there. Cool. Got another EC right there too. So I go ahead and put my line. Boom. Put my line there. Okay. All right. Drop down to 30. 30 minute. That was a get ready, that was a get set. Let's go colors, let's go. Let's go colors, let's go. All right, I'm gonna shrink it up a little bit. Find out where my, my arrow is, where my arrow is? I mean, where's my line? Oh wow, way over here. Okay, cool. Cool, 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 cool. All right, cool. Well, let me shrink it so I can see colors, okay. All right, so now all these circles that you see are potential entry areas. Let me get my brush. You can enter here. 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 Are y'all getting this? You can enter here. You, you, you know what I'm saying? All of these, look at that, it dropped, it pulled back, boom, it dropped, another position, boom, it dropped, boom, it dropped, dropped. It's, I mean, that's it. Now, of course, it doesn't have the colors on the bottom, all right, to match. But I'm going to be, you know, what I learned is that you really can concentrate on the top part. This is the first window, the first section part. If you have what you call those three parts, uh, there's a name to it, guys. As you get into the class, there is a name for it. It's called the Trinity. And when you see those three things, the box, you see the swing arrow, you see the C, that pretty much is something to get ready for. And then you put this line and boom, you can, you can do this. You can do this. You definitely can look for the colors matching, but most likely it's, it's going to match because you have everything that you need in the beginning part. Okay. Um, another thing is, we always look kind of from this arrow, you see there's a pullback. Let's just say, let's, let's try here. Okay. Uh, let's go back. All right. So we saw this, we made this arrow, which we could have gotten in over here, but let's say we got in over here and we know it's going to pull back, right? You could have set a pending order, pending order, pending order. under this level, okay, to really minimize your drawdown, okay? What does that mean? That means, you know, a lot of people get scared. I do too. Get scared because you get in, make this profit, and you're going down, 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 and then it starts going negative, and you're like, oh my gosh, I'm losing all my money. Should I get out? I don't know. I don't know. Should I get out? Well, if you want to minimize that, you could put a pending order under these areas here, this, this pullback area. It comes back. This is a zone area, okay? Another area of support, but yet it goes here. You could put a pending order under here, and then boom, it still stayed up here, right? But then guess what? Right here at this part, look what it did. It broke through, and you'd be in profit. You'd be in profit. You'd be in profit. You'd be in profit. You'd be in big, big profit. All the way down here, boom, 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 boom. You would have been profit. Okay, you would have made, let's, let's even see what, what kind of profit. Let's say we were doing $10 a pip and you, you broke past this and you came down here. Let's just say you came all the way down here, okay? That's 152 pips on $10 that have been $1,520, okay? $1,500. That was on pending order. Boom, you did that. Last thing is where do you put your stop loss? Just put your stop loss over the box. Put it on top of the box. That's it. Put it on top of the box. You don't have to think about it. Put it on top of the box. If it's on the bottom, put it under the box. Top of the box, under the box. Top of the box, under the box. That's it. Like end zone to end zone, like in football. You just put it on the outside end zone, outside end zone. You put your stop loss there. And then you want to use proper management. 
because everybody talks about, oh yeah, we make some great money. I can do all good. No, you need to have proper risk management. Okay. No more than three at max 5% of your account balance at risk at, at, in, in a move. Okay. If you're in a trade, you do not want to go over 3% at most 5% of your, you want to put in multiple trades. Okay. Then you want to put in three trades, then they need to be a 1%, 1%, 1% to add up to three, not 3%, 3%, okay? 1%, 1%, 1%. If you're trying to max out at 5%, you want to put in five trades, 1%, 1%, 1%, 1%, 1%, 1%, okay? To stay proper. So in case it does go in an unanticipated direction, you don't blow your account. You're not losing a lot of money, okay? So guys, that's all colors is. That's all it is, okay? That's all it is. It's just matching up the colors. So as a recap, okay, as a recap, let's go back to AUD, AUD USD, where I originally started. Is my lines here? Yeah, my lines still here. <laughs> I love it. I love it, people. Let me stretch it out. Okay, I didn't have to rewrite it. I love it. Cool, 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 cool. All right. So as I said, Colors is only, not only, but it's really about just matching up colors. And we go through a get ready, get set, go. And so the get ready is we're looking for three things, okay? We're looking for a box. That's the box. We see the shaded box. We're looking for a swing arrow. Okay, hold on. Internet unstable. Okay, we're looking for swing arrow. That's this arrow right here. This arrow right here, okay? And then we're looking for an EC engulfing candle, easy engulfing candle, box, engulfing candle, swing arrow, box, engulfing candle, swing arrow. That's all you're looking for. It's all red. It's all good. Then we look for this arrow right here. We see it. Cool. When we see that arrow, that's get ready. This is where we're getting set. Okay. And then I put this green line because I want to stake it. I want to know where, where am I going to start with this? This is going to help me to enter the trade because a lot of the problem is I don't know when to get in. I get too early, got in too late. I don't know when I get in. How do I get in? Well, this answers the question. You look for that arrow and then you drop down to the 30 minute. That's all you do. Okay. We drop down to the 30 minute. I come over here. Green arrows right there. Cool, cool, cool. I'm looking for this arrow. When I see this one, I'm ready. I jump in. I see that arrow, boom, I jump in. And when I do, all the colors line up. Oh, it doesn't show me on the bottom. But we saw it earlier. It's red here. We have this red arrow here. We have red candles. If I go down, if I were to go down, if the box is still there, everything will go red. The volume, the time frames, everything matches up. Boom, I make my money. That's it. And you can go down to this line right here, this, this black line that you see. That can be one of your take profits right there. Or it could be this line right here. It could be this line, it could be this line, or you could go all the way down to a green box, doesn't matter, okay? And that's it, ladies and gentlemen, that is it. Any questions at all? Did I do that good? Y'all got that? Was that pretty good? Somebody give me something. Talk to me. Nobody got no cameras on. I don't even get a camera. I don't get a face. I don't get nothing. Good Lord. Nobody? Nobody got anything? Can y'all hear me? Can you at least hear me? Can somebody unmute and tell me? Yes, we can hear you. <laughs> Thank you, Anita. Thank you. Jesus. Okay. All right. Good, 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 good. Awesome. All right. So guys, just as that part, again, this is inside the I Am Master Academy. Um, again, if you find that this seemed to be pretty easy, that, hey, I can, I can do that. I can look at a chart. I can go ahead and find three things. I can go ahead and mark a line, drop down to the 30 minute and get in. And I can do that. That's simple. How long did it really take? Once you practice that, guys, and I recommend that you get into a demo account, you practice that trade, do 200 trades, or you triple the amount of your balance in your demo account, and then you are, you're off to the races. You are off to the races. And guys, I'm again, I'm excited to learn that strategy because it's simple and I love simplicity. I'm not trying to spend a lot of my brain power doing Fibonacci and markups and weekly all this and all that other stuff and how I need to learn how to market 
talk about my chart and all that. No, I just need to match up the colors. Here's the question. Can you teach your child how to match up colors? Tell me if you believe, if you have a child, could you have, teach this strategy to them? That's the question I want you to ask you. If you believe you could teach it to them, then guess what? You can go ahead and make a good uh, amount of money with that particular strategy, okay? And so last thing I'm gonna do, let me show you where you can find this strategy, all right? If you are in the I Am Master Academy, what you'll wanna do is you wanna go to our Go Live and you want to look for this gentleman right here, Doc Raphael Spiller right here. So you can get goated and floated as he likes to say. And we have our recorded sessions, guys. And what you do, you go to his channel. He's in the FRX program. Uh, you come here to his favorite sessions and look what he has. Look what he has. It's, it's colors. It's just broken down real easy. Color section one, you'll watch that. It's only 38 minutes. Color section two, only 46. Color section three, color section four, and then risk management. Boom. You watch this. That's all you need. That is all you need. You don't need to call your friends up and ask them how to do this thing. You don't need to bother your sponsor. You don't need to, you know, call your coach. You don't need to do any of that. I promise you, you watch those right there. You're going to be good to go. All right. And then you practice and then you practice and then you practice and then you practice until you're dreaming of red and green colors. That's it. That's going to be your favorite Christmas colors. So that's what we're going to say. You need to get these, learn these Christmas colors, red and green. Just learn these Christmas colors. You'll make a lot of money for Christmas. OK. And so that's going to be it for tonight's TWB class. I appreciate you being on. For those of you who are on Facebook, I appreciate you watching. Please go ahead and watch us over and over again. And look, Go ahead, stop waiting, stop holding back. You know you need this Christmas money. You know you need to go ahead and get those savings account up. You need to go ahead and purchase that new home. You need to go ahead and get that car done, whatever the case may be. But let's go ahead and get started. And then let's go ahead and get enrolled in the Colors uh, program so that we can teach you just in a matter of minutes how to go ahead and make that money over and over and over again playing a video game and trading okay so with that being said my name is sean james thank you so much for being on this live and being on our tw fundamentals class we do this every monday 8 30 p.m standard eastern time and we always introduce a new concept or tool within the i am master academy to show you how easy that trading can be if you allow to put in the time and energy okay so with that that's all I got. Thank you so 